So, hi everyone. As you can see in the car, we're en route to the Porsche Carrera Cup GB Media Day. I've got my chauffeur, Samantha Gillum. She's with me and gonna be working on the camera as well today. So, fingers crossed, this one comes out okay. Uh, today, obviously, big day for Josh Stanton and Nathan Harrison, who have both joined the team from the Mini Challenge. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of testing on track. They're gonna be tracking shots as well, photography and all that stuff, and we cannot wait to show you what it's all about. Okay, so the Porsches are currently out on track, doing some still photography, they've just whizzed around the track, about 50 miles an hour doing some tracking shots, must be very boring for them, but we'll catch up with the drivers later. For now, whilst this man has a few spare minutes, we're gonna grab him and see how he's got on building these race cars. Come with me. Elio, yes. on the vlog, lovely the Porsche Media Day, explain to me what the build up's been to obviously today. Press you from under and not press you from under. That's annoying. Pit wall and pit session, please, Thank you. Cut. Okay, so we're going to try that again. Thanks to the lovely PA there for ruining our vlog, but let's try again. So, Elliot, <laughs> explain to us the build up to today, what we're expecting from today, and just a general feeling about entering the Porsche Pro Cup for the first time as a team manager. Well, build up's been interesting. Um, obviously, Having a few wrappers and that sort of fall out on us. Um, getting the cars wrapped was a real <laughs> a struggle, I think would be the best word to describe yeah. it, but we all clubbed together, got, got them done, got here. The cars look mega, uh, especially making a stand into what we're actually going into this year. Coming into this year is going to be good. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be great. 
I've been wanting to do this since I started, especially when I got into the team manager role. I wanted to, to do Carrera Cup, it's the prestigious championship on the token package. Personally, I would say even more prestigious than touring cars, but that might be a bit biased. Controversial. <laughs> Controversial, that one. But yeah, I mean, today, just looking for some consistent pictures, um, get ourselves set for a couple of test day in a few weeks' time. We're not pushing the boundaries, we're not showing too much of what we've got. Yes. See, we're still the underdog teams. We don't want to show all of our cars before round one. Uh, that's where we're going to show uh, show what we can do as sure. a team, as drivers. And yeah, hopefully come away with a few podiums this year. Sure. So, we've done the tracking shots. What's next for the lads for the rest of the day? So, they've got their, their head shots, their driver profiles. Um, after that, then we've got two more test sessions. Again, do a little, like, 70% quality sim, to see where we're at, sort of uh, gauge where we're at for the rest of the, sort of the grid. Um, like I said, not showing our cars too much. We are, uh, you know, we don't want to show what we've got before we get to round one. That's going to be our, this is us, we are team hard, and this is how we do it. Perfect. Okay, sounds like the cars are coming back in, so let's cut to some montage of them coming in and the lads working on the cars. Cut! Yeah. Uh, sort of show where we are but not show everything that we've got. Right. Hi guys. And then in the afternoon is <laughs> you're right. <laughs> and then yeah, the afternoon will just be a uh, again go around and make sure they're comfortable with the car, make sure we've yeah. got no issues and then Okay, so two or three minutes left before the guys have got to get in the car. Luckily I found a new racing driver for Team Hard over here, so let's go and find out his name, what he does and what he thinks of the new car. So Introduce yourself. I'm Josh Stanton, racing Porsche Carrera Cup GB this year with Team Hard. And uh, what'd you do, Josh? Well, yeah, uh, I'm a student at Nottingham University doing engineering at the moment, um, final year. Um, I'm very, very lucky to be to be racing these cars alongside that. Awesome. What have you done racing-wise before? So I've done two seasons of Mini Challenge uh, last last year and the year before, and that's that's literally it. That's all I've ever done. So it's a it's a huge learning curve for me. This I'm very lucky to be doing it, but yeah, loving it. How are you uh, how are you finding the car so far? God, they're awesome, aren't they? They're just they're so fast, so brutal. Um, obviously, it's a huge um, learning curve. It's a lot to adapt to. Um, but the, the guys and engineers have been brilliant, um, just taking it step by step by step um, and just you know learning learning every session and, and not trying to run before we can walk really. Cool, and then what have you what you've been up to today and what's left? Obviously we're halfway through now, so just go through the plan. So this morning we had one test session just to kind of uh, bed the car in, check everything's, everything's all good and then um, had photos, tracking shots earlier. Got another session in about five minutes or so a few more photos this afternoon, and then I think one more session, and then debrief, check everything's okay, and then plan for, for the next couple of months before before we go racing. Perfect, and then one last question. Which category are you in this year, and what are your sort of expectations, goals, etc.? So I'm in the AM category this year, and the rookie class. Um, expectations, what I want. I want some podiums, I want class podiums really. Um, that's, my, that's my goal. Um, and then we'll build on that next year, looking for, for championships, etc. But yeah, just as I said, don't run before we can walk. It's it's a it's a journey with the team. It's a journey with myself, the sponsors, etc. So yeah, building on that. Um, that's the plan. Podiums. So any sponsor shout outs quickly. Uh, Evolution, Puffin Solutions, 
uh, and Grayson Pace, who are a new um, car cafe, um, up and coming, so look out for them. Smashed it! Cool. Good stuff. What are you doing? I'm just watching all the horses. Oh yeah. Mid-session, I've just found behind me one of the mechanics doing something to some wheels, so let's go ask him, put him on the spot, see what he's doing. What have we got going on here? Keith, please explain what you're doing to these lovely tyres. I'm currently removing the wheel balance weights and cleaning the rims ready for some new Michelin rubber to be mounted. One of many benefits of being in the Porsche Carrera Cup GB is that the team owner gets to use one of these lovely brand new Porsche Cayennes for the entire season, labelled up with the Carrera Cup logo and of course, the all important Team Hard branding. Love it. Day, so it's getting all the photo shoots today and that was a few test sessions. Um, so testing every session we went out, times were coming down which is the main thing. Um, and the minute it's only our third day in the car so every day is learning. 
couple of test sessions this morning. Um, lots of photos, lots of media, which was great. Um, but you know, we all want to be out in the car, um, let's be honest. So yeah, uh, good running in the first session, just getting, getting used to the car, um, getting myself back into the swing of things and then pushing on, um, putting some, some new tires on it later on in the day and just developing myself. That's it, the first media day of the season done using these lovely Porsche Carrera Cup cars with Nathan Harrison and Josh Stanton at the wheel. Looks like, and it feels like, it's about to start raining, so we're gonna wrap this one up pretty quick. These cars will not be on track until the first round of the season at Snetterton, the second week of June, so a little while to wait. But by then, hopefully, the UK will be in a much better place. So make sure you like the video, hit subscribe, and also move on to the next one because we've got some pretty good content coming up. Over and out.